everybody, and welcome back to the Weeb family. Uh, what should we call this place? Like, well, I mean, I it's our it's basement. A, yeah, welcome back to the Weeb family basement. And uh, today we're going to talk about all the manga that we bought this past November. As you can see, it's pretty thick. Yeah. So first, we of all, we got extra this month. Yeah. So first of all, a couple of disclaimers. Some of this stuff I think we got in the last week of October, so it's not like a true hard and stop, like November 1 to November 30. Like there's a few. Yeah, especially because we're not even recording this on November 30. It's going to drop at the first of the month, but... Uh, you, you drop in your album. Yeah, so this is a, so it's a little, uh, a little uh, fluid, I guess, on the, on the days. But, um, and also the second disclaimer is... This is an excessive amount of manga that we bought this month. We normally don't buy we, this yeah. much. How, how much do you think we usually get per month? Usually it's whatever comes out for what we're following, and so mm. it just kind of depends on how many It may be one or two random time. ones. Yeah, so it's usually maybe around 10, Ooh, 10. maybe less. Yeah, it's between 5 and 10, I would say. Yeah, okay. and even then, not always. So. Yeah, so this is way excessive. way excessive than what we normally get. So this may be the most exciting manga haul video that we ever do on this channel. Probably. So, uh, unless some crazy thing happens and we go to Japan and like get a bunch of cool stuff there or something. Yeah, maybe. We'll keep hope alive, right? Yeah. Okay, so where do we want to start? You want to start over here, middle, or over I don't here? care. I don't care. Well, let's just go from my right to left, you know, right. so okay. the manga reading order. Okay. Um, okay, so the first thing... Well, first thing that we, well, how should I phrase this? Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about, but not the first thing we bought this month, is DramaCon. Yep, and that's this is, for me. And this is the Weeb Daughters book. Um, well, I don't know what you want me to call you uh, on camera. Anyway, anyway. So, so yeah, um, if you're interested in how I found it out, I was looking at the back. So I, re I, I started reading Sergeant Frog, um, if you saw the manga tour video. Mm -hmm. And um, I usually look at the ads in the back to see if there's anything interesting. So I found DramaCon, but I'm like, oh no, it's out of print. And Tokyo Pop's really bad about their original like English creations and their mm -hmm. copyrights. But um, yeah, they did a reprint for this one. I don't know why. As I think it, I mean, it was one of well, the they lost all their other licenses. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the most popular original English one, but I know mm -hmm. it was one of their more popular ones, which is why they did it. I think it was the sure. 10th anniversary. Yeah, I think so. It says it on the back. Um, uh, yeah, the anniversary edition. Is what yeah, it yeah. Says, yeah. Um, so I'm not completely done because I need to read because it's all three of the volumes in that one, and mm -hmm. it's really annoying because I have to keep the spine all nice. Yeah, it's true. It's hard to get these thick ones. Keep but I found nice. this one from the way that you showed me to hold it. It has been better than my Tokyo Mew Mews. Mm -hmm. But anyways, the point is, it's good. I haven't finished completely reading it, but so far it's really good yeah. and interesting. If you like shoujo, it's a pretty good read if you can find it. Yeah. Well, they should be able to find this. I saw this. Yeah, but like, if you want to get the original movie. print, that's gonna be hard because you have to get it off of like internet or whatever. Yeah, you're gonna get it on the secondary market. Yeah. Cool. So DramaCon, and then let's see here. This one, almost all of these are moms. Yes. Which is kind of except funny. for the next one. Yeah, but uh, this is because the new trend is these super long titles. We swore to meet in the next life, and that's when things got weird. Okay, so this is one for the mom, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know why she got it, but it's about these, like, prince and a princess who, like, like, they couldn't get married, I think, in their original life, but then, like, in their next life, they found each other, but, like, they had a massive age difference. Yeah, it was a huge age difference. I think yeah, she's, I think like, significant. The guy's old. 17, the girl's 39, so. I know, I don't think she's that old. But it says it on the cover. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 22 year age gap. Yeah. So, and then it just comes into mm. they know the age difference, but they still retain all their memories from their previous life. And I haven't read it, but my mom says it's pretty funny. Yeah, and this is the first volume. The next one doesn't come out until March, I think. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Mom's manga always takes forever to get the next volume. It does. All right, time for dad. Do, 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 your, do your hot take. <laughs> Hentai with big boobies. <laughs> take old bitties. Yeah. So, Gal Gohan. This one, 
This one's interesting. We're actually going to have a full video of this before too long. At some point um, or another. Well, no, it's probably going to be one of our videos after this. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about the production schedule in my head. But uh, what's funny about this is I kind of buy this primarily for me at this point. Yeah. But I don't funny. think Mom even reads it anymore. No, she read it. She reads it. I guess. She actually read this one before I did. Oh, cool. Yeah, so uh, Gal, go on. I originally started this series... Uh, I saw it because the issue, uh, first volume was in plastic. You know, they always have the best ones wrapped in plastic. Anyway, and I read the back, and, it, and it's about this girl who's on the cover, uh, Miku Okazaki. Um, she's like, joins this cooking club, and she has a crush on the uh, teacher. And I don't know, you know Mommy's into shoujo. And I was so, yeah. looking for something with a twist, and we had just got done watching Food Wars. So I thought that this would be right up her alley. But then is, it wasn't. But then it ended up being something I really liked. So I don't yeah. know, this one's kind of more for me. It, it's kind of like Uzaki-chan, but like times but more 10. more inappropriate? Yeah, times 10. <laughs> and no raised boob cover. Yeah, no embossed boobies on the cover. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll have a video on this one coming out soon. You, you know, that cover gives me lots of clone high vibes. That one scene with Cleopatra. I guess. And then this is totally my jam, even though I haven't read it yet. High Rise Invasion. You I already to, talked about that before. Maybe. I want to totally get a video on this for our channel, but like... See, the thing is, I read this stuff that you guys read, but y'all don't read my stuff, so... Yeah. Anyway. Except you haven't read a lot of the manga that we are talking to talk about today. That's mine. Yeah, maybe. So, anyway. No, that's completely true. You don't read My Hero, you don't read Tobits, you don't... That's true. Anyway... Uh, so High Rise Invasion, the latest volume that came out. I'm looking forward to this. Um, haven't read it yet, but there we go. Ryuko, volume two. She kind of looks like Horse Girl from Fruits Basket. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. So Ryuko is kind of interesting. First of all, it's by this company, uh, Titan Comics, which is not really known for publishing manga. But um, I guess they do. I, I think this is their only one, anyway. uh, from what I was seeing. But uh, the artist, uh, Eldo Yoshimizu, um, apparently he's like a traditional artist, and Ryuko is kind of like a character that he features in his art exhibitions, and then he finally turned her into a manga. So yeah. this was kind of interesting. The setting was interesting, because a lot of the action refers to a uh, Middle Eastern country that's basically not Afghanistan. You know, some made-up Middle East country, which is different for a, a Yakuza setting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I probably won't do a, a video on this as a standalone unless people request it. But, um, I don't know, it was kind of interesting. There's only two volumes in the whole series, so I picked up the second one. Um, not much else to say about that. These next four are in a group, and we've already done a video on them. The, the Sweat and Soap. Sweat and Soap, yeah. Um, more volumes to come. I don't think there's anything to add. If you want to hear more about it, go see our uh, video on it. Yeah. Uh, really nothing said there. Like, uh, there's nothing really new to say because there's been no new volumes since yeah. then. Beast Stars. Stars. We already have our video up about it, yeah. so no new hot takes. Yeah. Really? So, like, we got the newest volume of that yeah. this month. I'm running out of space over here. Um, these are for Mom. Uh, I watched the anime for Cells at Work, but I haven't. I Number one, that's called Black, which doesn't have an anime, or at least not yeah. in English yet. This is like the spinoff or sequel series. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a spinoff because I think mm -hmm. it's not the same author. Like, I think it's like the author gives them the copyrights to do it or whatever. Uh, but anyways, maybe. the point is, it's still really good. It's about these cells that live in your body and they, like, you know, fix things in your bodies. Because, you know, right. on the covers, they have, like, the red blood cells and the white blood cells. But it cells. focuses on, like, the naughty bits and stuff. Yeah, like that's... That. So, yeah. so like, the original set of works is, like, normal, but then Code Black is, like, naughty no-nos. Yeah. Um, anyway, we bought volumes five and six of five this six. to complete uh, Mom's collection of it. So, wait, there's no more Code Black? Uh, I think six is the newest one. Okay. So, I don't know if there'll be a seven or not. Okay, okay. Okay, and then let's see, what do we have here? Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So, this is the manga adaptation of the 
I think this one was on the Game Boy Advance. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I don't care enough to remember because it's on the PlayStation. But now. you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Yes. I ha I've only played the first and second games, but I want to play the rest mm -hmm. of them, so eventually I will. Because we're low tech. Like, the newest PlayStation we have is a PS2. No, PSP, because that came out after. Well, I suppose. I meant, like, the main consoles. Anyways, the point is, I haven't played it, mm -hmm. so it's going to be good to read the story. I mean, I generally know what happens. You know, it adds organization members. You know, everyone's favorite, Axel. But, um, yeah, haven't read it yet because I've been busy, but I will eventually. Mm -hmm. I think, because I can only find these. Actually, I'm not going to say the bookstore that I found it at because I don't want everyone to sweep it up. But I can only find it at this one bookstore where they stock the Kingdom Hearts mangas. I don't know if they're rare print because I know it's impossible to find the original Tokyo pop print. But I think Yen Press technically has the copyrights yes, now. Yen Press. Yeah. But I think it's relatively hard to find. Like, you can get it more accessibly now, but it's still not the easiest thing in the world to find. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's like one of those Amazon deals. Maybe. But obviously you found it in a bookstore. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, we did. We get pretty much all our manga at a bookstore, except for what we're about to talk about, which we got on Amazon. Yeah. Well, I think most of the stuff we got in bookstores this yeah, time yeah. around. Yeah. Like we don't, cause I know well, you Amazon got that. Amazon has been shipping us stuff with bent. Like Maison Coco. Wait, yeah. is wasn't that this November? Do you have it in the pile? No, no, we got that like a month or two ago. Oh, anyway, it was in our manga locker. But like, it was, it, it came bent, so we don't yeah. like getting manga from them. Yeah, well, especially because we found the trick to get it a few days early. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next one. My, My Hero, Hero Academia Volume Twenty Five. Haven't read it yet. My mom, mom has, though. Mom read it last night. Mom read it last night. Yeah. Um, so far, she says it's pretty good. Um, she says the she doesn't like the stuff with the villains. I think it's okay because it gives motivation, which is always nice in characters. But, um, yeah, it's just been going on for, like, three volumes now. Mm -hmm. um, but she is excited because my mom likes the grumpy boys. So she loves Bakugo and the volume has more Bakugo. My mommy does love the grumpy boys. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you've already read it, don't spoil it in the comments or anything. There you go. So, next up, another ones for mom. Love me, love me not. I have nothing to say. I haven't heard about it. Yeah, it's just neither. mom's. Yeah. She hasn't talked about it. I think she liked it. I think she said it was very stereotypical shoujo, so maybe that's why she doesn't have that many thoughts on it. Maybe. Or maybe it's the next one. Uh, I don't know. She liked this one. So, this is uh, Love in Focus from Kodansha. Um, by Yoko uh, Nogor Nogiri. So, I don't know. This was actually just three volumes. Oh, that's it? That's it. So, okay. Some series are only like three or four volumes. Like, yeah. if it's actually, like, the standard either like you go three, four, twelve, and then it's rare to get over twelve. Uh, like, it's, it's not as common. It's just however many uh, Shonen Jumps or Shoujo Beats it sells, I guess. Yeah. I know that there's other magazines than that, but you get one. Like Ribbon Magazine. Sure. Um, okay, and then we've got the latest volume of Snow White with the Red Hair. I watched the anime for I haven't been keeping up with the manga, but I did watch the anime for it, like, last Christmas, actually. Yeah, this is Because I specifically manga. remember I drew a Christmas present for my friend while I was watching it one day. Um, yeah. but, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I don't, it's kind of been a while, so I don't exactly remember the story, but it's, Standard shoujo, but like mm -hmm. medieval themed. And it's mommies, so. Yeah, so. It's okay. pretty good. So, this one is kind of weird. So, for a while, you had liked Magical Girl, and I guess you still like Magical kind Girl. Kind of. I, the only Magical Girl stuff I've really seen is pu 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 Puella Magica. I don't know. It's the one with, it's the one that's all edgy. I don't remember its name. And don't ask, because I can't pronounce it. Well, um, Utena's magical girl. Utena. I don't know if I necessarily count Utena. Like, it's weird mix. Like, those two are weird mixes, but Tokyo Mew Mew was what I had, which is just normal um, magical girl. So I haven't read that yet because I've been busy with school, which I'll get a lot with these volumes because I've been busy. But... Well well, Mom was saying that you should read this because you would like Magical Girl. Yeah, and i also been wanting to read Sailor Moon just because that and Dragon Ball. So I've already seen Dragon Ball, but I've seen nothing of Sailor Moon. And Sailor Moon's like one of the classics that like brought, you yeah. know, anime to America. Yeah. And so when I was at the comic book store the other day, uh, the guy that owns it was saying that he they had messed up his order and he had had a bunch of Sailor Moon. And I was like, oh, I should do him a solid. And, you know, with COVID and everything, and sales are down. So I went and bought one. Um, but yeah, we got Sailor Moon Volume 1. No one's read it yet. So, 
no one in the household, obviously. So this is an interesting one. Um, Kaguya, Sama, Love is War. I think the deal is my mom wanted to watch the anime, right, right. but um, it's in subtitle. Well, no, okay. So the second season's dead, but then the first season's all subtitled. Right. So and we're we, a dub family. Yeah, so we haven't watched it yet. Now watch all the sub snobs are <laughs> leaving the negative comments, um, putting thumbs down. I don't know anything about the series personally. <laughs> like, I don't even know the plot mm. or anything. I've just seen the dance with, I think her name's Chica. She's a pink-haired girl, but... I guess she's popular. She's people waifu. I don't. I don't really know. Gotcha. But uh, the main reason why we got this, well, yeah, because like, mom was talking about the anime. But uh, um, one of the bookstores we go to that I guess we got to keep secret so no one steals your Kingdom Hearts manga. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were running a uh, buy two get one free. Apparently, an overstock deal. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. We picked this up as one of the freebies. Um, or whatever. We bundled it up so we can get yeah, the, yeah. the discounts. Okay, so this one's like a kind of me, kind of mom, I don't know. So kind it's of family. Comey can't communicate. I haven't read anything. We got that. volumes three, four, five, six. My so my mom a while ago originally got yeah. it for me. Yes, because you are the main character. Yeah. So Co you are so Comey. No, I'm life. more I'm more I'm more lively near my friends. I see. But I think my mom really got it for me because I was feeling sad at one point mm -hmm. or another. But I never read it, so my, yeah. you guys read it and you guys liked it. But well, I still have read it. I think you would like it once you stop being busy with school all the time. Well, I have winter break in like three weeks. Yeah. Okay, so here but we I'm go. not going to be slammed with work till then because it's like the end of the quarter. Yeah. So I know we got this one like in the late October for your birthday, but yeah. whatever. We're putting it on video. Show it. That's volume the second two. volume of the Omnibus. No, wait. We got you volume one for your birthday. Yes. Oh, this okay. one so, was yeah, the other okay. one. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is volume two. I really like the cover for this one. I don't know why. I love it, though. I don't know if you can see it well on camera, but yeah. I love the cover for that one. I'm still reading the first volume because, again, busy with school. And when I'm not mm -hmm. doing stuff for school, I'm usually reading Drama Con. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I... It's, I, I've seen the anime, and I think this is still where the anime is at at this point. And um, it's pretty good, c c kind of fan service -y. I mean, if you read it, you know, but uh, it's also just makes you question life sometimes. Ooh. I feel like, I don't, the way you talk about it, I don't know if I, I mean, I might be willing to read this at one point. It's about it just, androids and stuff. You might like it. Yeah, I know. And then like, there's fan service, too. <laughs> But I think I told you this, but the audience at home hasn't heard this story. But back in the 90s. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous TV anyway, show. Actually, it might have been the early 2Ks. So that just, makes more sense for I think me. It was this was the early, I think it was the early 2Ks, actually. Okay. Like, that like, would make sense. Maybe that's even, when this was popular. Maybe even before 9 11. But okay. anyway, I remember going to a game store. Actually, it was just a little after. Anyway. Okay, anyway, that doesn't really matter when exactly it happened. Anyway, in the early 2Ks, I remember I would go to this game store all the time. All right. And there was this guy this who was, guy. like, shorter than me, but, like, just as fast You're as pretty me. tall, though. I know, but he was, like, shorter. He was, like, maybe even shorter than you. Oh. Ooh. But... Well, I'm also kind of tall, though. Yeah, you're kind of tall for your age. Anyway, but he was, like, he was thick like me. He was super thick. thick. And he was all into showbiz. Which is like, creepy because there's quite a bit of fan service, so that's he, creepy. Well, and he was like really chunibio about it. And like, like he wore like the little robot ears. Yeah, right? He said yeah, that. Yeah, I think he did that. And then he wore Chobits t shirts all the time that were like 10 sizes too small. But like, <laughs> look, to be fair, I'm not fat shaming. I, I'm, a, I'm a big guy. You're a thick boy. But I don't wear. Shirts that are too, too small. small, just because I can't get shirts, you know, on the appropriate size. Yeah, yeah. No. But anyway, he was like cringy. So like, I <laughs> like cringy. He was, and I'm sure he's a nice guy. If I knew, him, <laughs> if I knew his, if I remembered his name, I'm sure I'd reach out to him, and we'd have a good time talking about anime. I feel bad saying this, but like, it was cringy. And so <laughs> like, if I read this, I'll just be thinking about that guy. This I whole think time. you would like so, it though. Besides that guy, I think you would like maybe, it. It yeah. does seem kind of like your yeah. story. But maybe again, if that guy's watching and you'll know who you are, hit me up. <laughs> I'm sure we could be friends. I'm sorry for talking trash. <laughs> so, and the last thing in the hall 
is we talked about this in the walkthrough, not about this, but uh, Blade of the Immortal, the, of the, Immortal, the, uh, the hardback reprint. Ha! Um, With a bookmark in it. <laughs> yeah, no, this is kind of nice. It's like built into the spine. I don't like it. those, though. I don't, I don't know. Like they're them. okay. I, I get what you're saying. They're in the way, but a lot of my Games Workshop hardcover books have them, and they're kind of nice. I don't like it's them. It's whatever. I could take it or leave it, but um, it's a really nice cover, very thick. Very um, thick. Even though I think it's multiple volumes into one, because of the hardback, it should, you know, the spine shouldn't get any damage. Yeah, that's the anything. problem with yeah. Omnibus reprints when they're not hardcover. It's, mm -hmm. um, the spine gets ruined, and that's what happened to my Tokyo Mew Mew. I mean, it wasn't very bad, but it, yeah. you can tell there's like a weird crease. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the uh, thicker books. It even kind of happened when I was reading, uh, Thy Word Gelder. Um, so I totally know where you're coming from. I don't know how many volumes this collects. I think I had heard three. So this is like worth three of the uh, um, original original uh, manga format. Not the original comic books, but the original manga format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know why this is like the third time behind this uh, arc or whatever between the Tonka Bonsai's and the actual comics. But like... I wanted the reprint or whatever because I don't want to go through each comic and unbag them and everything to reread it. And there's like 150 of those issues. So, yeah, it's kind of a pain. So I want something. If I want to go back and read this, which I'm sure I would. Um, At some point. I, I want it to be more convenient. And yeah. And I like the bigger edition. Apparently, this was the original size. Really? That's surprising. In. Yeah. Because I think. I well, you got to think about like Shonen they probably Jump. draw it bigger than they size it. Oh, now. they definitely draw it bigger than they size it. But like, um, like in American comics, it's eleven by seventeen is the page size, so it's way bigger. I than know mangas it sizes it's, it's page size is a lot oh, smaller, a lot but smaller. I think it's just drawn bigger. Well, yeah, think about it. they come in magazine size, right? Like yeah, yeah. in Japan, yeah. so this is closer to an actual magazine size. <laughs> but there you go. There was our manga haul for November. 2020 quarantine edition yeah so it'll probably be the most exciting one if we uh do a december haul it probably will not be as impressive so yeah with that we'll just sign off with six seasons in a movie six seasons in a movie